Hello, everybody. It's Kathy. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today, I'm going to take you through a, the making of a file folder journal. So stick around if you're interested. Love to have you. And if you are sticking around, would you be kind enough to hit the like button if you think that you like the video when you're done? And if you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. Let me show you what we're doing. Here's the front of a file folder journal. Here's the back. And here's the binding. I have a ribbon closure. And first it opens this way. And over here... I put in a little uh, tag pocket, has a couple of spots in it. And then here, this opens up to a folding envelope you can write in, little journaling spot. You could actually put some pictures in there too, it'd be kind of fun. Okay, and that opens up, this side opens up. And over here we have uh, a spot comes like a little flap that holds a tag and on the back of the tag I put some spots to write and then this has a flip up so it flips up and here I don't know if I can get it in the frame it has a full page uh, pocket and then hidden here is a piece of paper that I put in that opens up into a, if I could open it up, <laughs> that opens up into a piece of paper for journaling or, I'm glad I did open it up, then I can see that it's stuck together. There we go. So that's what's in here. I tuck that right back there, put the flap down, put the little holder up after I put the tag in. This was fun to make this part. And in the center, I have a little journal. That kit is remo removable, held in place by an elastic. And then next to that, I have two pockets with some little journaling stuff. Over here, I have a simulated uh, window envelope. I didn't have a window envelope, so I made this. Uh, with a little card inside. And I flip that over. I have two pockets on the outside. These hold two tags on the side and tags in the top. And then over here, I have, I never can remember which way I wrapped it. I have a pocket that has another little card. And then it also holds a card on the side. Okie doke. Let me tuck that in right. It's a little envelope. There we go. And this is held together with a ribbon closure. So this is made with a file folder and then any other paper that you want to use to decorate it. There you have it, that's what we'll be making. So let's get started. To start with, you need a file folder. I'm doing it in this bright color in the beginning just to, uh, you'll be able to see it better. Um, but I highly recommend a regular color file folder. I did not have one. The first thing you want to do is cut this down to size. So you want the length to be the length of your journal. Um, I want it to be like eight and a quarter inches. So I am cutting off just at eight and a quarter. and save that extra piece. 
It's great to cover and make uh, cards later. Next, you'll need your scoreboard. And you have two ways you can do this if you don't, have, don't want to use a scoreboard. Your folder has a natural score lines on the back, on the spine of it. If you bar, varnish them, is that the word? Yes, varnish them. You'll have a nice spot. That will be the spot that holds your little journal you put inside. So if you don't have a scoreboard, what you can do is fold this over so that it the tab just meets maybe a eighth of an inch this side of the score line. And you can do that. So we'll do both ways. I'm gonna put this right up to the, the tab right up to the left on the scoreboard. And I'm going to score it at four and an eighth inch and four and two eighths inches. So what that gives me is a very tiny little, little spine there that will help when I wanna hold, if I stuff it too much, just to be safe. So I'm going to fold those over, varnish it. These are a little tricky to varnish when you're, it's so small as area, but it's doable, kind of. Gonna kind of have to play with it and varnish that. Okay, so just for your reference, <clears throat> this is at the first score line is four and one eighth, the second score line is four and two eighths. Then you have the score line in the middle, and then for the other score line. I'm simply going to fold the end till it's about an eighth of an inch away from that first score line in the center. Just like that. And I'm gonna make that crease nice and tight. So then what I have is I have this, and you'll see you have some space here. That's what you want. Okay, just like that. Actually, just like that. So you have a good amount here as well. So <clears throat> just to let you know, I'm switching from this one because what I wanted to do was work on one that I've, as I told you, I didn't have any regular colored file folders. So what I did was I took a red one and I covered it with paper before I uh, did all the scoring and such. So I'm going to be working on this one. It got a little funky in the center, but that's okay because it won't show. Okay, so that's the base to your journal. This one I seem to have folded a little smaller but that's okay, it'll be fine. Either way you do it. The next thing we're going to do is, I like to um, do the signature first. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly make a signature and we're going to do that Choose any papers that you want. I'm just using this parchment ivory paper, ivory-like paper. And I'm gonna choose, let me see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to use 10 pieces, 11 since I already have them here. And the first thing I need to do is cut these down to size. So you'll need to cut them so that they're no wider than your fold line. 
than your first fold line. And because, as I said, I scored this a little differently, I'm going to measure my score, my first score line. And it's let me see. It's one, two, three, four. So it's four inches. So this can't be any wider than eight inches total. But I'm even going to make it a little smaller than that. I'm going to do it at seven and three quarters inches, just to be safe. So I'm going to cut this down, the paper down, to seven and three quarter inches. I think I can take a few sheets at a time. So that means when it's folded over, it'll be about three and three quarters. So seven and three quarters. Save your pieces. Let me see if, if what I'm doing makes any sense. It's actually, and I want it no longer higher than eight inches. So I'm even going to make that seven and, f I'm actually going to make it seven and three quarters. So I'm almost making a square, I think. Let me see if this makes sense. I always like to test it out before I make any decisions. I want to make sure it's going to fit. And that looks just about right. Let me make sure when I fold it. Yes. So I'm making mine seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters square. Seven and three quarters. And you can adapt this to any size that you like. Um, what I found when I made my first one, and I didn't take the time with the journal that I should have, so it was really wonky and I had to keep cutting it down and cutting it down. Um, so I'm trying to be a little bit more specific for you guys and gals. I hope you all are doing well and are healthy and your loved ones are all safe. I'm down in Miami, we're all good. Um, they just opened up the beaches, but it's raining today, so the beaches are empty, which is probably a good thing. Although the beaches in, the beaches in Miami Beach are still closed. Anyway, they don't open till next week which I think was probably smart as well. We have some crazy people down in Miami. So fold and varnish really well. Now, when I'm making little journals, what I typically do is I sew them on the sewing machine, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I have a very inexpensive brother sewing machine that is really good about sewing my, um, sewing my papers. So I'm going to try that. But you know what? Because I don't, have access to it right now. I'm going to go ahead and sew my sew my journal together. And what I want to cover this is a piece of 
cardstock. And I think I have a piece that might work with the colors that I'm using. Let me see. This is kind of my standby paper pad. So as I was saying, I think I have a piece of paper that goes with the colors in the journal I'm making. And I think I can use this for the cover of the little journal. Isn't that pretty? Haberdashery by Paper Studio. So Paper Studio, that means I got it at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to cut this down to seven and three quarters. Save that by seven and three quarters. Okie doke. And I'm gonna fold this. Actually, I'm gonna put this inside. See, it's kind of crooked anyway. So it looks like I'm gonna have to trim it. Let me see here. I actually didn't fold it that well. There we go. And there we go. I still am gonna have to trim it. I can feel it in my bones. Because I know when I turn this around, that's what it's gonna look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. This always happens because I'm in a hurry. No, it actually happens because I'm on camera. That's the reason. I am just going to take some of this shave off about an eighth of an inch. And another eighth of an inch. Come on. There we go. Let's try again. Let me fold this in half. Well, we'll see. That'll be okay. And quickly, I'm going to take my needle, my pokey tool. And I love this set. I got this set. It's We Are Memory Keepers. I got it at Michael's. It comes with your noodle, noodles, your needles, your pokey tool. Comes with a little bit of thread. Um, this is not the thread it comes with. This is upholstery thread that I love. Sometimes I use waxed thread. I find that I, it's very expensive. I didn't really need it. I use all kinds of stuff to bind my books. I've used that, the yarn, not yarn. It's kind of a hemp string that you can get at Walmart. And, um, I've used that, that works well. And for this one, I'm going to poke 
poke it up here. I'm not gonna measure. Because it wouldn't be me if I measured. And one around the middle. And if you're new to this, what you want to do is clip this in your, you know, put little clips or paper clips if it's a little one like this, just to keep your papers in place. I'm used to doing this, so I don't usually have a problem. Of course, you never know. Okay, then I'm coming down through the middle, up through one of the ends, down through the other end, And back up through the middle. You want to make sure your string goes on the other side of the center string than the first string did. So that you have a string on either side. Okay. I'm going to make sure that's good and tight. And we're going to tie a couple of knots, two of them to be exact. Quick and easy. Just like that and trim off the excess. Put my needle away so I don't lose it because if it's to be lost, I will. Put it back in my little case. That's probably why I like this more than anything, because it has a little case, so I don't lose it. Okay, and we'll set that over there. We have our little journal. No, I'm not gonna trim it. I'm gonna ink it. I'm gonna ink it. Cover up that bottom a little bit. Also want it to be on that string, although you're not really gonna see that string. Okie doke. And then we're going back over here. I forget which way, I think it was this way. Yeah. And this is going right here. And it's going there by way of two rivets or two grommets. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a hole here. Make sure I'm getting, the, getting it in the right place. I'm gonna put it pretty close to the end. One hole there. And one hole there. Then I'm going to take my little grommets I'm gonna put the nice side out, because that's what you'll see. And see what I have this set on. It doesn't matter because I always have it set on the wrong, the wrong thing, always. Because I can't find my little booklet. I have to look online and get it. But 
that being said, I always see people doing this with such ease. Trust me, this is not easy for me. Oh my gosh, that worked. Can't believe it. It's a miracle. Don't you ever think that sometimes? How did I do that? Or I did that? Okay. Now, I'm going to take some elastic, and this is the thicker elastic. It's probably around, I forget what the pound is, what the millimeter is, but it's the larger, thicker one. I like my elastic to be pretty tight because it, it loosens up as you go. And if you have someone to hold their finger there for you, that's great because that really helps. I don't have one, anybody there that's available. But put them to work if they're there. Okay, and I'm going to trim that, and I'm going to put in our little journal that we made, just like that. And the reason I like to do this part first, because to me, this is the tedious part, is making that, that journal. Okay, but it fit in perfectly. Okie doke, next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to have to, let me, I'm gonna to have to use my other one as a reference. But what I'm going to do is stop now and I'll continue in part two, the rest of it. You should have your base by now, or at least have know what you're going to be doing. If it goes like this. Okay, so I'll see you on the next one. Bye.